Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm one of the co-founders of Clinic Sense, and in this video, we're going to cover six tips to sending effective appointment reminders. So why are appointment reminders important? Well, sometimes people will just forget about their appointments and you want to make sure that you have a step to intervene in case they have forgotten. And so you can use reminders to reduce your no-shows and in the end, you'll increase your revenue, maximize your productivity, and most importantly, you'll keep your clients' treatment plans on track. You'll also give your clients what they want. Today's consumers are accustomed to receiving reminders from businesses in the service industry. They've not only come to expect them, but they've also come to rely on them. So here are six tips for sending effective appointment reminders. Set aside time for sending reminders. The first tip is to set aside time to send your reminders. Commit to sending your reminders every day and make sure that you're blocking off a specific time every day so that you know you won't be interrupted. How much time you'll need will vary, but make sure you're setting aside at least 15 minutes every day. Send more than one reminder. The second tip is to send more than one reminder. So the more we are exposed to a piece of information, the more likely we are to remember it. So sending one reminder will do wonders for your no-shows, but you'll have even more luck if you send two. Send your first reminder one week prior. The third tip is to send your first reminder a week before the appointment. And the reason you want to do that is in case something has come up for the client and they need to cancel or reschedule. Sending a reminder a week before will jog their memory and it will give you a full week to fill in that now empty time slot. Send your second reminder one day prior. Tip number four is to send your second reminder the day before their appointment. Now this one is simple. By sending it the day before, it will decrease the likelihood that they forget that they have an appointment the next day. You can even ask them to reply and confirm that they will be there just so you know that they got the reminder. Use preferred contact methods. The fifth tip is to use your client's preferred contact method to reach out to them. Ask them if they prefer an email or a text message. If you're sending using their preferred contact method, they'll be more likely to engage. But one extra tip is try to encourage them to use text message reminders because they have a near 100% open rate where email can't compete with that. Automate your reminders. And the final tip is to automate your reminders. It can be a lot of work and take up a lot of time to be sending out reminders, keeping track of who's replied and who hasn't replied, but that's no reason to not send reminders. There are simple ways that you can add automation into your workday. An automated appointment reminder system will allow you to choose when appointments go out and allow you to choose each client's preferred contact method so that you can allow the system to do the work while you focus your attention on the more important things like treating your clients and growing your business. If you're looking for more tips on how you can keep your business organized, check out the link in the description below to our organization scorecard. It's a free download that will help you see how you measure up to your peers. Thanks so much for watching. If you like that video, please hit the like button. And if you're looking for more tips on how to reduce your no-shows, book more appointments and to grow your business, hit the subscribe button to be notified when new videos become available.